<laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by for this tutorial from Sack Studios. This is Tony, and I uh, appreciate your attention. So today we're going to go over something that I haven't touched on yet, but I'm starting to get a lot of questions about it, so I don't want anyone to freak, but we're going to dip into some Photoshop actions and uh, how to make our own, actually. Now, as Daniel Tosh says, I'll feed you baby birds. I'll feed you. Don't worry. Uh, don't freak out. It's not hard as it sounds. Um, I know that uh, you can have some really complicated actions, but we're going to start off slow, uh, doing something that a lot of people need to do from time to time, web developers, um, people working uh, in real estate, they often need to resize pictures um, for a website or something to make a thumbnail for any reason. So what I'm going to do is show you today how to create a custom action and it uses the batch feature in Photoshop to custom resize all those in a matter of just a few moments. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to open an image and I've got a folder here with my originals. I've got a blank thumbnails folder and of course there's the Sack Studios banner. Um, so let's go ahead and open this nice picture of the salad here. So now that we've got our picture open, this is just a sample. Okay, What we're going to need to do is access the actions menu and like I said before I've never talked about that but it's actually pretty easy. Sometimes it might be listed over here already for you on your tools, one of your tools palettes. Um, if you hover over it it will say actions, it's a play menu. Now you can also get to it if it's not there, don't panic. You can hit alt, hold alt and press F9. You can see it pops out and press F9, 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 F9. Now, if some, for some reason you use Perfect Keyboard uh, or another macro program for some other reason and you can't use that shortcut command, still not a problem. Under Window, go down to Actions, and as you can see, Alt F9, once you choose that, it pops out and adds it to this list over here. Now, as you can see, all we've got now is our default actions that come with Photoshop. Those are kind of boring, but they serve a purpose. Now what we're going to want to do first is go ahead and create a new set. So we're going to click on this little folder here and it will pop up and say set one. We're going to call it effects because resizing is ultimately an effect. Okay. So now that you see this is turned down, the little arrows down, that means it's expanded and we're going to be making an action inside this set. So let's click our new action and we're going to name it something like resize thumb for thumbnail. Don't want to make it too big. Now you can see that we've set it to be in effects or you can set it in the default actions but in this case we want it to be effects. We can actually assign a function key to it. Uh, if you don't use any of these keys you can use something like F12. Um, how are you, you know, I, I don't really recommend using it because of the way we're going to use it with the batch feature you won't really need a function key for this and you're going to go ahead and choose record now once you hit record it's going to show the little record icon and it's going to record things but don't worry it's not going to record every single little mouse movement or click that you do it's only going to record processes and things you do inside Photoshop as far as choosing things from menus saving that kind of thing so don't worry so now that we've got our action named started and it's recording the first thing we're going to want to do is resize our image the way we're going to and that's from the image menu go to image size or alt control i as you can see um, that might be command option i on a mac I believe okay so most thumbnails are around 150 pixels now if you want to keep it proportional um, you can let the height restrain itself and just set the width to 150. I recommend a resolution, uh, since it's going on the web most times anyway, of 72. Now it may round that out and change it when you click off of it. No big deal. Since we're resizing, I would choose bicubic sharper. That is just best for image reduction in general. Alright, so I know it looks kind of strange. Um, and uh, since we changed the resolution, you might have to come back up and change 
the width again but you want to make sure ultimately it's 150 okay the top number of the width is 150 and the resolution is at 72 resample image is probably already checked and we want to choose by cubic sharper for best for reduction okay so once we do that go ahead and choose OK and you see it's resized our image for us just like we thought it would that's great so what's next but you see all that clicking we did it only put one new thing in there which is resize image so like I said it doesn't take every little click that you do and record it so don't worry if you, if you mess up you can always stop delete the last thing you did but you must stop first as you see if you try to delete something then it'll give you the uh uh ain't happening so you have to stop it first and so say oh we messed up okay uh, maybe we need to delete this at this point we can choose this trash can here delete it will delete this we can then hit record and go do it again and do it the way we meant for it so we're gonna pretend we did it right and we're gonna go back to recording okay so now we're gonna go file save for web and devices now it may say just save for web if you're using an older version of Photoshop and I won't even go into the finger twisting mess that is that shortcut but you can see it there on the screen so we're gonna choose that now most of these things are the settings here are basically your preference if you know what you're doing and you want to change the dithering um, whatever you want to you know preset to most thumbnails are gifts I'll just go ahead and let you know that so that's okay to leave that most of these things are okay to just leave if you want to do that there's no problem with that we've got our width set we know what it's gonna be if you click this button here you can preview what it's gonna look like in a browser you got your original and you got an optimized version you really can't see anything unless you zoom in and even then it's a thumbnail so you're not gonna see much um, so when you click save it's gonna say hey where, uh, where am I supposed to save that and as you saw before I had my originals and now I've got a thumbnails folder I just created earlier I'm just gonna tell it to save it in there so save alright um, so now that we've done that let's go ahead and stop recording and there we have it um, in the simplest of ways we have made an action a custom Photoshop action that's all your own and what it does is simply resize images now you can do this one image at a time but I recommend using the batch feature now I'm gonna show you what that is I'm gonna go ahead and close the salad picture not save that okay alright our thumbnails I'm just going to delete the one we had in there because I want to show you what happens so we've got our action here so and you see that everything we did is there alright so let's go up under file go to automate batch okay now here's the time where we're gonna need to change some things now mine set up the way it should be just because I've already set it up when I was working before uh, for other things and to make it easier for you to see now your set you want to have set to where you have the action and in this case that's effects and the action name resize thumb the source needs to be set to folder and choose when you click choose you need to choose your originals like I have done here um, we want to make sure that override action open command is unchecked because we didn't specify an open command uh, you can include subfolders if you'd like if you have folders in folders that's fine leave the rest the same destination needs to be set to folder okay and we're gonna choose and that's gonna be our thumbnails okay now we do want to check override action save as commands that's very important so now that we've done that we want to make sure our document name is first plus extension okay starting serial one compatibility if you're doing it you know need to work with these on the Mac OS or Unix you can choose that too um, stop for errors is always good so when I choose OK it's going to take all the pictures that are in the originals folder which you saw there are several 
and it's going to batch them all using our command, our action command we just made. It's going to batch them all to 150 width and proportionally constrain them so you'll see what I'm talking about. So when I choose OK, you'll see all this stuff flash across the screen. Alright, what that just did was open, resize, and save into a new folder our pictures that we needed batch resized. So if we go and take a look in our originals, you see we still have our originals, they're full size. What if we check out thumbnails? Now we go into thumbnails and you see we have the same file names, they're just marked as GIFs. They're much smaller, nice small thumbnails and as you can see 150 by 112, 150 by 100, and 150 by 115. Now uh, if you when you're re doing the imagery size if you need it to be completely one size like 150 by 150 you can un choose the little chain unrestrain it and you can make it exactly that this does it proportionally uh, which most people would want because it can skew your image and squish it and make it look wrong um, so there you go that you got it uh, we made our first action now there's going to be more to come in the series I'm planning a custom watermark there's going to be some other things coming down the line with actions, even some more um, complicated actions that uh, are a little harder. But I wanted to start you off with something easy. Uh, just get your get your teeth, you know, into it. You know, try it out, see what you think. Let me know um, if you create it and you like it. Leave a comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, please, if you like what we do, you can see us over on Facebook at facebook.com slash studios. Even on Twitter, you can follow us. We've got over 4,000 followers now. We're kind of getting getting up there a little bit. So um, that's psych underscore studios on Twitter there. And uh, we're glad to have you. And thanks for stopping by. This is Tony from Psych Studios, and have a great one.